Now some of you Clash Royale players will remember a video made by OJ where he talked about true red and true blue. He actually talked about some discrepancies that changed the interactions between some of the characters depending on whether or not you were actually on the red team or actually on the blue team. Well we actually have some of those in Brawl Stars as well guys. If you're looking at this map over here you will see blue on the bottom and red on the top. Those are the true blue and true red positions. If you're true red the gameplay will actually be mirrored so you don't have to aim downward all the time. This will make it look like you are on the the blue team, but in reality, you are actually truly red, hence the name True Red. Today we'll be talking about six discrepancies depending on which side you are and how to tell if you are True Blue or True Raid. Sorry, I meant to say True Raid. That was weird. Sorry. What I really meant to say was Raid Shadow Legends is an epic iOS and Android game that is totally free. It's a massive RPG that is growing big really fast because of its amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, PvE versus massive bosses, and PvP against other players. And there are literally hundreds of champions that you can collect and customize. I think a big reason why I fell so hard for the game is because it reminded me of some of my favorite console and PC games. Seriously though guys, look how crazy all the detail is on these champions. There's a special launch tournament with some crazy prizes coming up. For downloading Raid through the link below, you'll get 50,000 silver immediately, as well as a free epic champion. I wish they would have given me a free epic champion when I first downloaded the game. That would have been huge in getting a head start on my progression. Also, I really appreciate Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. These types of sponsorships go a long way in helping me create the content that you guys love, so you should absolutely check it out. Okay guys, we're gonna start today's video with Brock's Super, which is the first situation where whether you are true blue or true red actually matters. The first thing you need to know for Brock Super is that the nine rockets that he shoots out do not fire in a random order. They always follow a specific pattern no matter which side you are on. It goes in the following order, middle, upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right, then middle again, then upper left, then upper right, then ends with lower left. You'll notice that the five parts of his super actually fires off two rockets in every area other than the lower right hand corner. It does not matter where you fire Brock super from or which direction or angle you're firing Brock super from. It always follows this pattern exactly and it doesn't even change if you are playing against an enemy Brock. It still follows this same pattern from the true blue perspective. Now this order of firing is true 100% of the time, but you'll only see it like this if you are on the true blue side. If you are true red, Brock's super will fire in the mirrored direction, whether it's a friendly Brock or an enemy Brock. Here you can see that in action with middle, lower right, lower left, upper right, upper left, middle, lower right, lower left, upper right, and not firing the second rocket in the upper left corner. Not even joking, I've actually won bounty matches by using this information against pro Brock's in order to escape the super in the direction where there's one less rocket being fired. You have to be paying close attention, but if you're wanting to master Brawl Stars, it is a skill you'll want to be aware of. When you're facing an enemy Brock, you can pay close attention to the very first fire that they super to determine if you are true blue or true red. If you're true blue and a Brock fires directly on top of you, you may consider actually escaping in the lower right hand direction. And if you're true red, you may want to escape in the upper left hand direction. I'll give you more ways to tell if you're true blue or true red later on in this video, but I found that the the easiest way to do this is to actually pay attention to where the last rocket is fired without actually memorizing which side is actually true blue and true red. If the last rocket lands closer to your spawn location, try escaping toward the lower right. If the last rocket lands closer to the enemy spawn location, escape to the upper left. Okay, now the second brawler where some interactions are dependent on true blue and true red is Barley. Barley Super always throws out five bottles. He starts out in the middle, throws two closer to him, and then ends with two bottles away from him. Most of the time, the two bottles that land closest to him land almost at the same exact time, but there are times when one of the bottles thrown very far away from Barley lands significantly later than the other. If you know where that last bottle is going to land, that gives you the best direction to try to escape, to try and avoid as much damage as possible. To understand when that's going to happen, I'm going to draw this imaginary line right here on the screen, okay? Now, this line is the axis of where Barley is. So Barley is always at the center of the line. If you are true blue and Barley throws his super anywhere to the right half of this line, he will throw his last bottle to Barley's right side. If you throw your super anywhere to the left side of the line, then Barley's super, the last bottle, will land to the left hand side of where Barley was facing when he threw the super. The opposite of this is true for 
for true red where if you are true red and you are barley and you are attacked to the right side of the line his last bottle will be thrown to barley's left side and when attacking to the left side of this line um his last bottle will land to barley's right are, are you confused yet don't worry just just hang on for a second because this is actually very important if you're trying to escape one way versus trying to escape the other way knowing which way to go can help you actually avoid one or two ticks of damage and while that may seem small that can be the difference between winning a match and losing a match so uh, how do you use this information well most of the time an enemy barley will be supering down on you you can try to memorize which is true red and true blue and all of those things I don't have them memorized so here is what I do I pay attention to the last bottle that the enemy barley throws and then for future barley supers assuming that he's throwing directly where I am standing with me at the center of it I choose to escape away from the barley and to the left or to the right depending on which bottle landed last on a previous super now there are a lot of factors that can go into this like sometimes it's best for you to just escape directly toward a barley um, or just to the side depending on where they threw their super and stuff like that and so there are a lot of things to consider but this is one of the things that can absolutely help you turn the tide in battle now in preparation for today today's video I took a look at every brawler's attack and super mechanics. I found that Barley and Brock are the only ones that are actually affected by this. Now there are actually four maps that are not perfectly symmetrical where the side that you're on actually does have an impact on the outcome of battle. Starting off we have Hideout on Bounty. This map is highly asymmetrical. The left side has less walls and grass protection near the middle of the map but they actually have some cacti close to the L while the opposite side has to walk a little bit further before they can get to a protective wall for some protection. Looking at the map as a whole, if I could choose which side to spawn on, I would choose the true red side. The bigger L on the right side gives more protection. It's easier to access than the one on the left side because it's closer to your side of the map. And having two protective walls on the sides uh, as you fall back is much better than having the one in the middle and the small one on the right that true blue has. Snake Prairie is another asymmetrical map, which is a little bit fairer, I think, but there's still one side that I think has a little bit more of an advantage. First off, if you're looking across the midline axis, um, it's a very fair from left to right because the, the majority of the differences there is right around the midline. Namely, you have one bushy path on the right side of the map and two bushy paths that you can take on the left side. But on this map, I would actually prefer to spawn on the true blue side because there are three escape paths down the middle as opposed to the two escape paths that true red has. This gives you more options to escape and it makes it more difficult for the enemy team to guess which escape path you are taking. Diamond Dust right here in Gem Grab is very obviously asymmetrical with more bushes on the left if you are true blue. But I would argue that this map is mostly fair. Both teams actually have to deal with the same kind of situation. Because of this, it doesn't have a huge impact on which side you would prefer to spawn on. But for brawlers like Rico, who require high precision accuracy from their shots, it does actually make a difference. Typically, a Rico will master shots from the same angle on on the map that they are playing because most maps are symmetrical. On this map, you have to get good at mastering your angles and then mirroring them if you happen to be spawned on the true red side of the map. Triple Dribble is kind of another situation where it's mirrored along the Y axis, making it a rather fair map. The biggest way that this will actually impact strategy is that the bulkier, bulkier brawlers with shorter ranges will want to move to the right side of the map where there are more walls to protect them from long range brawlers. And the long range brawlers will want to go onto the left side of the map where they're gonna have an easier time hitting the enemy brawlers with the exception of Rico who actually more thrives on the side of the map with walls. Now the question is how do you tell if you are true blue or true red? Obviously if you are on one of these uh, asymmetrical maps then you'll be able to tell almost immediately and if a teammate or an enemy player is playing Brock or Barley then you can pay close attention to their supers to determine this as well. Now beyond that yeah, I don't know. If you guys know, please tell me because I could not figure it out. Okay, that's not completely true. I did find a few things out, but um, I think that there's a lot more to it than I originally thought. When I very first started working on this video, I was like, boom, whoever creates the room is true blue. And then it was like, well, who creates the room? It could be the team that has the most trophies. Then it could be um, the person that... Uh, had three out of three players and then jumped into the queue and then it filled with randoms Then I started working on today's video and realized that a lot of the gameplay or the matches that I thought were true blue were actually not They were true red 
and well, I had a whole bunch of issues and there was an identity crisis involved. I think the total trophies is involved. I think that the person that creates the room is involved, meaning that if you were in a friendly room or a friendly match, the team on top is true blue most of the time and the team on bottom is true red most of the time. We know that in showdown, there is no mirroring. Everybody is true blue. But beyond that, unless you're paying close attention or it's a very obvious map, there's no way for you to know 100% of the time. Sorry guys, I kind of feel like I let you down. I don't normally uh, end my videos with, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely an interesting one to make. Uh, I've been holding on to these Brock secrets for a while now. Make sure you subscribe for more future Brawl Stars content similar to this one. And I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. For now, this is Kyle Stein ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.